I'm back on Fox Patrol and I'm on a different moor and I'm walking over this uh, assault course <laughs> because I'm on stakeout I'm gonna get in position probably three or four hundred yards this way and uh, watch the world go by I'm usually getting my Seiko 75 6 PPC I've got the Micro Alpex 4K on top and I'm still using the CQ 35L spotter and uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to just get in position and uh, see what happens really. You know, we have a lot of, you can see or not, we have a lot of sheep and lambs here. Also ground nesting birds, you know the score by now. So anyway, let's go and get in position. I've just got to watch where I'm walking because there's stones and bogs and all sorts on here. Anyway, I'll uh, see you when I get set up, so I don't kill myself first. This big hole here. Not so bad walking in the light, but when it comes dark, it's painful. Yeah, this is where I am tonight, and uh, the foxes always come down the edge of that fence line. They always seem to stay on the green grass. You never seem to see them on the mirrors, but I don't mind because I'm on the mirrors. I'm shooting down to the green grass, and uh, they come down here and disappear in them trees. Well, I've got probably 200 yards of very safe shooting there, so. I can try and stop them, you know, and shoot them on sight. So yeah, this is where I'm going to be now for the next two or three hours. Yeah, it's now June and uh, it is, it's a cracking time of year. It's not so good going dark till very late but it is good to be out it's now five past ten and uh, it is going dark but yeah it is it's brilliant although the weather's been rubbish this last week in the uk it has it's rained every day and been windy in fact it's been windy all day today but it's dropped now i think it's eight mile an hour nine mile an hour now so yeah it's okay but it keeps the midges away so i'm not bothered but yeah cracking time of year Yeah, this is what it looks like through the CQ35L. And, uh, you know, any foxes come anywhere on this ground, I will see them without a doubt. Yeah, I've shot quite a few foxes from this spot here now. It's a good spot, really, because uh, I can shoot down this valley and it's 100% safe. And all the sheep always stay out the way at the top, so there's no sheep where I shoot, which is even better. And I shoot to probably 240. You know, some shots can be a little bit hard, but I know it's aiming this 6 PPC, you know, as long as it's not too windy. But yeah, I've had some good nights here. It's now half past 10. I'm looking through the Alpex 4K. And uh, it's still in colour mode. I've got it on automatic so it switches itself. But it's still in colour. And I'm looking now 200, 300 yards. And I'm, I'm not going to lie, it's, I think it's a cracky pitch, I do. I 
thought I heard then, two foxes fighting. It might have been badgers, but it sounded like two foxes fighting. Can't see anything. Here's the good thing about these big open mirrors is uh, you know you sometimes see foxes coming four or five hundred yards away so you've plenty of time to get your bullet in and turn everything on and get everything clear and focused and right I keep hearing a strange noise like there's foxes fighting I'm not 100% but I'm sure it is Yeah, these foxes must have been fighting on and off all night because I kept hearing these screeching noises that did sound like foxes fighting, if I'll be honest. Anyway, they've worked their way down this valley and they're now in front of me, but I can't see them because they're down a dip. But hopefully, they should come out. It's now about 20 minutes later and I've just seen two foxes fighting. I knew I could hear something stupid like that. They're just in front of me, but they've gone down a dip, so I can't see them. But, uh, I'll have to get ready. Yeah, there's one run off, but there's one led down. It's about 165 yards away and it's safe at the bottom of the valley. It's just sat right in it. So I'm going to have to have a shot. That fox couldn't have led anywhere worse. We were right at the bottom of the valley, around 165. 100% safe, and uh, anyway, he's down. Oh, uh, yeah, nice one. That's the other one down. It must have just gone further down the valley, walking back up. He weren't so far, probably 140 that fox. But anyway, they're both down, so that's a good do. Yeah, I can't believe that. Anyway, it's uh, it's quite late, you know. I think I've, I've probably been here three and a half hours. So I'm going to go and pick these now. Yeah, they're both stone dead. And uh, I'll see what they are. Anyway, let's go and get them. Here are both the foxes I've just picked up and uh, they were two barren vixens fighting. I've never really come across this before, especially this time of year. Anyway, they're both down and uh, Hopefully our ground nesting birds should stand a chance. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.